So this is my 1.6 HDI uh, Peugeot Partner, roughly about 2007, roughly about 103,000 uh, miles. This video is how to replace the old sump. So this is really uh, the old sump, uh, and it's quite battered, uh, a bit misshapen, and um, uh, quite a bit rusty uh, everywhere. So I'm replacing this one. Uh, this is the actual sump uh, that I've taken off and replaced with this uh, shiny new uh, new sump uh, it's actually quite shiny and nice black, no rust uh, it's pretty straight um, uh, stay tuned so it's not really uh, that difficult you would need, uh, what is that, 8 mil uh, for these bolts uh, so this is an 8 mil a small socket, but there are two stats, there are two problems actually. One is um, uh, so there is this one stud here that you can see there, one stud that is actually a 10 mil um, rather than uh, an 8 mil, and there is this um, flexi, it's actually flexible. Um, exhaust uh, side so that's not that much of a problem uh, although this stud um, has a shoulder underneath underneath the sump so this is the edge of the sump so it has a shoulder so you can't really remove it um, with with the sump so one has to uh, remove the sump and actually flip it as much as one can and then push the sump out of this of this um, stud then remove there is another stump uh, there is another stud uh, on the other side, so this is a kind of a positioning where um, the sump is going to be. So it's on the other side of um, of the sump. So these are the two two things. So that's a bit of problematic. This is a kind of uh, all right. The stud is kind of all right, but there is one. I'm not too sure if you can see it. I'll, I'll point it right here. So there is one bolt that is exactly. So there is one bolt. I'm I'm showing it here that this actually is smack bang in the middle of this flexi. So what I can do is I can have one of these eight millimeter ring spanner, uh, put it kind of underneath, and uh, put it kind of underneath there and uh, undo it. That's the only is the only way. Then uh, for torquing, yeah, I'll do it by I'll do it by uh, by hand this particular one because I can't really. The space is just too small in order to uh, to do. Um, kind of anything with, with anything else, there's not just not enough space. And that's it, next thing is starting to uh, undo these bolts and um, one thing for cracking, because this is this doesn't have a, a, a gasket, it only has a, you only have a sealant like this, so one can put a putty knife across here and just uh, crack it open uh, a few places and then this should be able to uh, be removed. So let's see how this will go. Uh, first I'll try with the uh, one thing, once you remove the, once you remove the bolts, so let me move it. Once you remove these bolts, have a cardboard cutout or something there. Where you can put put these bolts back where they're positioned because they're different. Uh, some of these are different lengths, uh, apparently. I mean, I haven't, uh, I'm not too sure which ones are those uh, different lengths, and um, so you don't want to mix them up. Uh, next thing, I'll first, of course, try with. Um, with that one, with that one here, because it's the most uh, tough uh, uh, bolt with the eight millimeter ring spanner, and I, I tried yesterday because I wasn't too sure if this will budge. So I know this will actually work out, and there you go it, it, it kind of moved, but it was a considerable force to remove that bolt. Finally, this board started moving, so I can undo it by hand. It's got a bit of a, a bit of a gasket there. That's probably the original gasket. There we go. This is uh, the first boat. I have to clean them afterwards. Pretty good. Uh, this boat. So next one, I'll do the, I'll do the the. Um, uh, stud, uh, the, the nut on the stud. That's actually uh, a 10 mil, uh, a 10 mil socket. So um, the, let's see how this will go. Yeah, it's actually turned pretty easy. Nut. 
next I want to do um, the middle the middle two and then the middle two from the other side just not to be just to be a bit um, to be a bit uh, uh, that's then I need it. I need the eight just to be a bit equal although it probably doesn't it makes no difference whatsoever yeah they actually I'm doing pretty well but these have a quite a quite a bit of gasket on them so they are a bit harder to so I actually crack them crack them all and then with the torque wrench and then I use another one I don't wanna use my torque wrench so much okay so then uh, from the outside I cannot really position the camera to catch the boat but they are uh, they kind of they are behind there so uh, you have to kind of um, see my my wrench So my only cracking the boat because I use a different ratchet is just easier. Okay, so craft cracked all boats. I'll start actually removing uh, uh, these nuts. And like that, really, uh, for all boats around, uh, I'm not gonna film them, it's just will take too much video. So I'll film the other stud and um, uh, the other boats. Uh, the boats who won't film, really. Okay, so I've removed all boats uh, from from the sump. Um, well, actually all of them, and the stud at the back. Um, I'm not too sure if uh, can be seen, but it's, it's, it's way too dark uh, on that side. Um, I've also removed all boats, but the one boat um, that is kind of left, and I'm not too sure if it can uh, be seen here. It's it's actually here. This this that, and it's supporting this um, uh, kind of. This is from the coolant uh, pipe, so uh, it's got this plastic thing. So you remove it, and then this should be able to uh, to move aside. So that's the last thing to do, and then uh, taking the sump off. So here is the sump and I've removed every single boat uh, possible and I'll really go around uh, with a finger just to try to see if um, I've removed everything and I haven't left uh, something out there um, just in case no everything's alright so even if you move it you, you can't really um, uh, prize it open, it's not possible. So I have a small putty knife um, to try to wedge in here and try to uh, undo it to we'll see how this goes. So there are quite a bit of bits and pieces here from previous from the previous um, gasket. So remove those. The easiest the easiest point is actually to wedge it um, from that side. Some, some stuff here from the previous so it seems like you can actually quite easily put it that side and that you can kind of slide it along um, that and that actually works pretty well not I try not to um, Not to put it too much inside, but that I can I can kind of hear that the sump is starting to open. So I suspect now I suspect now that if I it will left and right. There we go. It kind of opened. So that's it. Next thing is to slip it over. Uh, this uh, flexi hose and let's see how this will go yeah that was actually fairly easy and there's still quite a substantial bit of uh, oil 
uh, coming down. So you can kind of uh, uh, plug this this putty knife with the edge, and basically around here is the probably the best option, and then kind of slide it along. Once it goes over these, um, uh, then it's not really uh, that much of a problem. So you have to be careful not to put it too much in here to cut this um, for the for the oil uh, level. But uh, that's it. Um, then of course is uh, once this is done, then of course is the reverse procedure and putting it kind of inside cleaning everything and then um, uh, reassemble. And this is what I did uh, with the bolts. I put them all uh, at the correct position. I put a small nut on top just not to lose them. So here how it uh, looks uh, underneath. So that's from the that's from the sealant. I'll probably take it off. I've put uh, something to, to capture the oil. So uh, this surface along the whole edges has to be clean. Oh, well, that's the pickup, and this is the um, uh, from the stick, from the oil stick. I forgot what, what the name was. Uh, so this is really picking up, picking up the oil and the pickup. So there is a mesh underneath exactly here, and I'll try to really show it. Hopefully, it can be seen. Um, yeah. So yeah, there we go. That's that's the mesh. Um, let me see how you can. I can shine the torch so you can actually see. So that's the mesh, and it's pretty clean. There is only one single small speck in the in the it kind of in the in the center. So I can. I don't really need to replace to replace the whole the whole uh, pickup. Uh, there is only a small speck there, so I can clean it with with a car cleaner and just spray it. There, and this will be actually uh, cleaned because um, the one thing. I don't want to really replace the hole. Um, I just have to clean it with with, a, with just basically spray here underneath, spray all the surfaces underneath, spray it, and then clean it with a, with a rag. Uh, try not to leave any uh, particles. Yeah, because it's got these bolts here and and there, and they are thread lock. They I have a I have a glue like a thread lock, so it, it's rather difficult to to undo, and they might be tight. So as long as this is uh, clean and it's no sludge and it hasn't been sludged then the instruction okay one one can just uh, clean it because it sucks from from that side uh, this is where it will stick not not from not from the from the bottom not from inside but actually from that side it will be but this is really actually quite uh, this is actually extremely clean uh, only a small speck and nothing actually, um, nothing actually else. And this is <laughs> 105,000 miles, so um, this has been actually a very uh, pretty clean engine. So the next thing is really to clean um, all the surfaces, and uh, I'll clean these uh, studs. Uh, I'll clean the studs from from gunk and, and so on. Well, pretty much everywhere it has to be extremely clean surface, no oil, nothing. So uh, let the cleaning begin, and I'll put some oil uh, like um, nylon around this so when I spray I don't want this to be sprayed and then when it becomes hot it will uh, smoke too much. One last thing I forgot to say it's actually a good very good idea to now is the time to actually check if the the different channels uh, gullies and so on in, 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 the, in the engine are pretty clean so you don't want to be underneath this um, and the engine to look because there's oil dripping but if you have like a mirror you can actually look um, inside there and you can see whether they're clean whether there is any sludge in these actual uh, the actual holes here and here and and quite a few of these so you can really go around and basically inspect uh, every single little of these gullies they should be really clean and this is these are pretty clean actually of sludge uh, there is actually nothing um, that I could see where they are uh, there is any sludge it's basically just oil uh, rather than any sludge so next thing is really to basically clean uh, all the surfaces. So now cleaning, I mean I have a braking clutch clean, I also have a carburetor cleaner, these are, these are all good. Basically I'll, um, I'll spray on the surfaces, I'll try not to spray but it's inevitable to in the gullies, they will drop, they will drip down. Also I'll spray a bit of in the in the oil pickup, also clean it. And I have a few uh, clean racks just to uh, clean on the surfaces. So there, there, there are a few bits and pieces. Even if a few bits and pieces stay around here, 
I mean, uh, when the oil comes down, they will drop in the sump um, and they might get picked up, but it's very few um, uh, bits and pieces. So there are quite a few small bits and pieces, so I'll probably spend quite a bit of time like going with the rack and try to clean them. Somebody suggested a bit of WD-40 and cleaning those, so I'll try that as well. Uh, so also uh, spray spray down here, oh, there is a, a bit of oil coming, so there might have been a bit of a blockage there. Oh, this is from the from the actual spray, uh, so it's going up and uh, then going down, so that's actually all right. And my my cleaner is uh, with oil everywhere. I mean that's it, now I'll go around everywhere, mop and, and clean, and, uh, but that's about it, that's uh, until it's uh, completely clean and there are no particles anywhere along this edge, it's just uh, bare metal. So I really cleaned everything pretty well, uh, so it's actually clean, all the surfaces are really clean, um, sprayed, I mean, at the end uh, what I really ended up doing uh, is pretty sticky this substance, I have um, this plastic trim removal tool so I put it in a, in a, in a cloth and started kind of scraping. Uh, Whatever there was uh, pieces of, of the old uh, sealant, uh, but it, it took quite a while, like at least half hour I went around everywhere, uh, managed to clean it. Uh, but what I'll now do, I'll, well, I won't film it, but uh, I have the new sump, so I'll fit it, make sure all the bolts can go into their places, so kind of a, have a practice of myself uh, how to do it, because once you put the sealant on, you have to be rather quick and put it not not to wait like half hour it's like within 10 15 minutes and and put it so i just want to see if it if it if it fits and um how well it fits just not not to uh, mess up anything like a like a kind of a practice okay so here is the the new sump and i've already sprayed and um well it's it's from um yeah the bolt at the bottom is slightly different than than the original one but otherwise it's pretty much the same um, some uh, the bolt there. It's kind of um, it's raised, so it's not really recessed. So there will still be oil um, once it's drained. There will be still oil, and um, so I'm trying to. Well, next thing is really to apply silicone from the inside, and uh, what I'll do, I'll apply it from the inside, a fairly thick, a fairly thick bead uh, from the inside around here on the hole. Uh, continue around the hole, continue around the hole. I also put a bit of it on the outside. So um, what I'm using is this, uh, yeah, this was pretty cheap, um, wasn't really too expensive. And um, the other one was slightly rusty at the bottom. Uh, this one is actually all right, um, looks all right. We'll see, it's probably about the same. So for sealant I'm using this RTV um, Vital Red RTV or VTEC or whatever. So all the description of the components in the in all the videos. Uh, so apparently uh, this is um, resistant from from minus 62 degrees to 343 degrees. So it's it's quite a bit. Uh, but um, so you apply it only to one side, not to both, only to one side, and then um, uh, you have to assemble it before it skins over. Uh, 
<laughs> but the skinning over is roughly about, at about <laughs> it says five minutes. So I can't really apply this within five minutes and, and put it on. So it will be a bit longer than five minutes. And then the bolts, while I do that, it, it, so it will be uh, more than uh, five minutes. So let's see how. So I'll do a final clean with a brake and clutch cleaner just to clean one last time. So I'll wait for this to dry a bit before before applying the sealant. So it's not really even. It kind of uh, tilt 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 slightly uh, this sump. Um, so see how I can I can uh, probably put a tissue or something underneath. Yeah, something like that. So it will be easier to to apply this um, uh, this sealant. So uh, let's see how this will go. So I've um, cut the nozzle a bit. I um, think that that should be kind of alright. Uh, one for this, somebody was saying on the reviews that uh, it, it, it starts to come out of here. So I'll hold it with, with um, hands like that and squeeze from the other side. Hopefully it will be kind of a uniform bead. I'll try to circle the holes as well, a bit on the outside and then uh, well, it has to be quick uh, to be put inside, so I have to be re relatively quick. Uh, so puncture, puncture this. Um, kind of st uh, started to come out a bit. There we go. Let's see how this will go. Maybe that's a bit too much. I'm not too sure. I'm not really tell you how much to put. That should be kind of all right. Pretty certain that's too much. Probably way too much. But uh, let's see how uh, this will work out. So the thing is not to touch uh, any of the surfaces. Uh, nothing, uh, not to kind of smear um, the sealant. So let's see if I can do this holding it one hand. It's not entirely too easy, uh, but let's see how this will go. This has to be squeezed inside. I'm kind of all right for the moment. That's all right. And I can't really see where the other one is. There we go, these both fitted. So I'll put first the studs. Okay, I'm only slightly. I turn it not too much. Because I'll torque it later and I know one bolt, which with my pre-test was uh, quite difficult, is the other one up here, so I'll put it first, kind of to try it, see how it goes. Okay, now so now, quick all the bolts one by one. And like that all of them are free. So I've really um, put them in so now I'll um, torque them to 12 newton meters. It's not entirely perfect this uh, thump, it's just slightly some uh, a bit more difficult boats than others to go in. Uh, Yeah. 
Okay, so I did uh, the ones at the, the back as well. So I'll uh, start talking them actually. Well, all of them pre, kind of somewhat pre torque. Kind of to see if I can do that. I don't think there is any sequence, Pro probably it could be a sequence of bots, but I haven't heard anything, I haven't seen anything. <laughs> And that one, the awkward bolt, I'm trying to do it by hand. I'll probably do this last with a, with a 8mm spanner. Well, this one is done. I'm done 12. So this is how the the sump looks like now. It's, uh, it's pretty decent, uh, really black, and it was slightly rusty. This is this is actually flat. It wasn't flat before, so it looks actually pretty uh, pretty nice and, and and black. It was before a bit a, a bit dodgy. It was a bit rusty everywhere. Um, so I really left this uh, uh, from the last time. So this gasket I really left 24 hours uh, before. Doing anything, touching it or uh, filling it with, with, with oil. You don't need to do that, but in general, I, I would wait 24 hours. Uh, so now, you, when you touch it, is uh, when I touch it, 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 it I can feel it is quite hard and it, it's already um, set. So um, when I pour the oil, um, uh, probably tomorrow. So I wait roughly about 48 hours just to just to pour the oil. Uh, otherwise, you you can potentially. And I can feel that it's really made a bond with with this with this um, um, kind of the the the, the metal. Um, so that's actually all right. 